Hello guys, I'm the Darth Frog. In this video, I am going to show you how to back up your saves in the scrap mechanic. First of all, I'm gonna create a survival and a creative world, and then I'm gonna show you how to back up them. All right, so let's create a survival one first, and here we go. All right, we are now in the world. I am going to place a few things at spawn at random so that we can see if the backup was successful or not. All right, I think this is fine. Now let's go and create creative mode world. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna do a similar thing in the creative world. All right, here we go. Okay, we can now start the backuping process. First of all, I'm gonna leave the world and the game since you can't actually load in backups without restarting the game anyway. All right, here we go. As you can see, we are now in my desktop. So now what you have to do is press the Windows button and the letter R on your keyboard. This will bring this window right here. It's probably gonna appear in your bottom left corner right there. Now what you have to do is type in percent, update, percent, and click OK. It will open this folder. Now what you have to do is find Axelot Games. Open the folder, navigate to Scrap Mechanic, User, and you should have only one user in here. However, if you have more, just sort by date modified and select the most recent one. Then navigate into that, save, and this is where you have all your creative mode saves. Now, if you have trouble finding the one that you want to backup, I suggest just sorting by date modified as well and it should pop up right at the top. So now just select this and copy it. You can either use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus C or just right click it, copy and here we go. Now we have to paste it in here. You can either use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus V or just right click, paste. Now as you can see we have how to backup creative, copy. You can leave it like that, but I would suggest renaming it to, for example, how to backup creative backup one. All right, in the same save folder with all the worlds of creative mode, you will also have a folder called survival. If you have a lot of files in here, just sort by name and it should pop up at the top. Alternatively, you can also sort by type. Navigate into that folder and as you can see, if you sort by date modified, your latest save will be right at the top. Repeat the same steps as with the creative mode. That is, copy it and paste it. And again, I also suggest renaming it to something else that's easier to understand. Like for example, just adding backup at the end. Remember not to use any special symbols in the file name, as well as not remove the .db at the end. Alright, now that you have the backup, we can close this folder and launch Scrap Mechanic. Alright, now that we're in the game, you can press play, select your game mode, and as you can see, we have the backup file right at the top. So now you basically have a copy of this world. You can keep it to access the current state of it later on, so for example, play on your main world for a month, and after a month just hop on and, you know, compare the progress that you made in this month. Or for example, if you want to do something that can potentially break your world or do something risky and you don't want to lose all your stuff, then you can just keep it for a few minutes and just continue from there later on. And as you can see, here we go. Everything is exactly the same as we left it. And same with the creative world. Let's go and, and as you can see, we now have a backup of it. So for example, let's say you're building like a gigantic skyscraper and just in case of something glitches out or something similar like that you just want to have a copy of it then you can just do this and as you can see here we go everything is exactly in the same state as we left it in here as well so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed and i hope i could help you if you like the video please consider clicking the like button and if you want to see more content like this click the subscribe button and enable notifications with the bell icon i was Darth Frog and i hope to see you in another one bye